Greenhouse gases, commonly known as GHGs, are at the heart of our climate concerns. Around the world, emissions are on the rise, and Quebec is no exception. Since 1993, Hydro-Quebec has been closely monitoring GHG emissions from its reservoirs and from aquatic and terrestrial ecosystems to document the carbon footprint of its activities. Let's take a closer look. A number of gases contribute to global warming, including carbon dioxide or CO2 and methane or CH4. These gases are not only the result of human activity, they are also part of normal ecosystem dynamics. For example, aquatic ecosystems like lakes, rivers, and streams generate GHGs. When bacteria decompose organic matter such as lichen, ground cover, and dead leaves, GHGs are released into the atmosphere. The same phenomenon can be observed in hydroelectric reservoirs. When a reservoir is created, the last step is to fill it with water. This is called impoundment. After impoundment, some of the vegetation is covered in water or flooded. In the years that follow, the decomposition of some of this flooded vegetation produces GHGs. Emissions are temporarily higher than those of the surrounding natural environment, peaking in the first two years. Over approximately 20 years, they gradually decline to levels comparable to those of surrounding rivers and lakes. In both natural environments and reservoirs, emissions occur in two ways. The first is called diffusion. It occurs when gas concentrations higher in water than in air are released into the atmosphere. In Quebec, diffused CO2 emissions are by far the most significant type of emissions. The second is called bubbling and is caused by a buildup of methane in the sediment due to the absence of oxygen in the water. Bubbling emissions usually occur in shallow parts of reservoirs. There is also a third GHG emissions pathway, downstream of generating stations. This process, which resembles diffusion in natural environments, is called degassing. These emissions are caused by the turbulence of the waters that force the water and atmosphere to reach equilibrium, just as they do in rapids. Hydroelectric reservoirs have a service life of many decades and even centuries. The increase in GHG emissions observed in the first few years following impoundment is therefore considered temporary. Taking their entire life cycles into account, reservoirs have a relatively low carbon footprint. As part of its commitment to fight climate change, Hydro-Quebec makes a point of knowing how much GHGs its facilities emit, continuing to generate clean energy today and tomorrow.